Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. For decades, the United States Ninth Circuit Court, which embodies Arizona, Nevada, California, Oregon, Washington, Alaska, Montana, Idaho, Guam, and Hawaii, has been populated with left-wing judicial activists who rule not in accordance with existing law or the Constitution, but in alliance with their liberal principles. In the process, the Ninth Circuit has become one of the most overturned of all federal judiciaries by the U.S. Supreme Court. But thanks to POTUS, Donald Trump and his dedication to appointing constitutionalists to the federal judiciary, things are about to change for the Ninth Circuit, much to the chagrin of the Marxist Democrats who run the states encompassed by it. With the confirmation of Kenneth Q. Lee to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals on Thursday, the president is one step closer to bringing sanity back to the court by 2020. According to National Review's Ed Whalen, Lee will fill a seat held for decades by arch activist Stefan Reinhardt. Furthermore, there's nothing but good news for a constitutionalist on the horizon, Whalen added. Of soon for a floor vote next week, I hope should be Ninth Circuit nominee Daniel D. Collins. Collins will fill the seat long held by Harry Pregerson, the Ninth Circuit judge with the strongest claim to rival Reinhardt in lawless willfulness. The appointments of Lee and Collins would give the Ninth Circuit 11 Republican appointees versus 16 Democratic appointees, with two remaining vacancies. At the start of the Trump administration, the Ninth Circuit had 19 Democratic appointees, only 6 Republican appointees, and 4 vacancies. Also, Whalen noted, 8 of the 16 Democratic appointees are eligible to take senior status, and a ninth soon will be. But there is no particular reason to expect any of them to elect that option. As Fox News noted in April, left-wing groups have reliably turned to the Ninth Circus when opposing practically every policy and executive order POTUS Trump has issued. A top affiliate litigator in California and chairman of California Affiliate Law Group told Fox News that those groups are unlikely to look to other circuits now that the Ninth Circuit is turning more conservative, however. During his 2016 campaign, Trump committed publicity to appointing conservative constitutionalists to the federal courts and to the Supreme Court. He's kept his word, and thanks to the fact that Republicans have kept the Senate and Majority Leader Mitch McConnell had done away with filibuster rule for judicial nominees. Federal courts across the countries are getting much needed infusion of judicial talent focused on constitutionality, not activism. God bless. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.